Welcome students. In the building materials, construction and planning, we are seeing the unit 4. In unit 4, we, can, we have seen the building components. Lintels we have seen, we have seen the arches, walls, walls also built according to the principle of arch. And we saw what are the staircases and its types. Now we will be seeing about the different types of floors. Right? Different types of floors, concrete floors, mosaic floors, terrazzo floors will be coming under this one. Then next time we will go in for the roofs and the trusses. Okay. So today we will see about the floors. What we call it as the floor. A floor is the bottom surface of the room. This is a gender common by a common man. Floor covering is termed to generally describe any finished material applied over a floor structure to provide a walking surface. Okay. So floor covering is different. Floor is different. Floors may be completely without concrete and that is the floor, right? Okay, so the above the floor that we go for different types of covering that we call as the flooring or floor covering. Flooring, the both the things combined together we call the flooring. Flooring is a general term for a permanent covering of a floor or for the work of installing such as floor covering. Both terms are interchangeably used but floor covering refers most to the loose laid materials. For example, we are after the flooring that we go for a tiles. Right? That is the floor covering. Below the tiles we have a material that is made up of concrete or the reinforced concrete structures that we call it as a floor. Again, flooring is a process of providing clean, smooth, durable and impervious level the surface or the occupants of the house and the center surface is called as the floor. Right? So actually it is a very hard surface floor above which we have the, the clean, durable, impervious layer we will provide which we call it as a flooring. The entire things we call it as a floor. We can be, uh, I mean you can see that it is very attractive, decorative or we will have it as a very smooth one or we can have it as a tiled one like this having different uh, designs, right? Okay, we can have any type of flooring material. The floor should be hard, durable and sufficiently strong to withstand the loads coming over it. Okay, so the floor should be very hard, it should be durable and it should be able to withstand the loads. Floor of a house is first thing in house which comes in contact with humans on everyday basis. Why this floor is important? If I want to enter into a room, enter into a home, the first thing that I come in contact is the floor. That is what everyday basis I get in contact with the humans. Humans get contact with the any building material that is called as the floors. Okay, they usually are the first surfaces in home to bear, bear and tear. So how many things we are buying when you skate in the home, we will even put batting and bowling in the home. We slide in the home, we do all sorts of the home, even the furnitures we push here and there, all the things that is bearing and bearing, everything will be taken by the uh, floors, right? And if flooring is not done, then the house floor will not last for a longer period of time. So actually above this uh, flooring, we have floor coverings. Okay, above the floor we have flooring or we call it as the floor coverings. It may be a mosaic, it may be a tiles, it may be a terrazzo or it may be an oxide. Or any types of smooth layer. That smooth layer gives us a comfortableness to walk in the home. Right? So that is that if that is not there, the floor covering is not there, it will be very hard for us to walk on the bare floor. It will not present to eyes. Even if it is not completely covering, the floor covering is not there and it will not be good. Right? Just imagine if your house is without any tiles and other thing, how it will look? Not entirely of new colors. It may be of a, even concrete paving also. If it is not paved properly, it won't be nice. And most important, our foot will not feel comfortable in the rough surface. And in which area floor is to be installed, such as the basement bathroom? What is the points to be considered while we are going for a selection of a uh, flooring? Right? Selection of a flooring. Which area I am going to select the? Uh, I mean, go for a flooring. Either it is in the living area. Living area may be a uh, hall, dining room or a hall room or a drawing room or a bedroom or a study room. Right? So, are the bathrooms. The bathroom mostly nowadays we are going for a non-slippery.
many times. The same case what I am going to put it in the hall room, I am going to put in the bathroom, the water can be stagnant there. We are there I have to go for a time which will not allow the water to stagnate. Kitchen, kitchen we have oil spills, we have water spills, everything will be there. So like that to take care of that one we have to go for such a type of flooring in the kitchen. So the basement covers all the things, that is the bedroom area, every living area that will come under. So yes, you have to choose something, ceramic or marble flooring or any type of flooring in order to withstand them. So if you have children or any need for durable floors or low maintenance, yes. Instead in bathroom, then there is a high amount of moisture will be there. Kitchen is there, oil and other things will be there. And also last one, boys, we have to consider when you are going for flooring is the budget. Okay. So the budget, the tiles, even if I am going to take a tiles, it is coming in a 40 square uh, or 25 per square feet to 450 or even 750 square feet. Right, some imported tiles are costing around 1200 square feet. So it is depends upon the budget. So what is the type of flooring I am going to do, it mainly depends upon the budget. So types of flooring. So these are the 10 types of flooring that we are going to see. Tile flooring, there are ceramic tiles and porcelain tiles. Vinyl flooring, it is similar to that of a vinyl uh, uh, laying. And then granite, granite stones are used for even flooring and also for the kitchen uh, things. Marble, mismatch means two or three types of mismatching and we are going in for. Laminating means, all of you know what is laminating. A certificate will be laminated. We are like that a smooth glassy finish layer will be there. Linoleum, we will tell you what is linoleum, linseed oil and concrete, terrazzo, oxide flooring and stone flooring. You can see here some of the types of flooring. You can see this is a wooden or we call it as a linoleum and the, mostly the laminate flooring will be of vinyl flooring, all of the, some types of wooden floorings. Here it is a stone flooring. Here you can see it is a very good marble flooring. Here you can see the, this is also a uh, vinyl uh, flooring. This is all different type of tiles flooring. Okay, so you can see here there are different types of flooring. First we will go in for a ceramic tile flooring. Ceramic tile flooring is made up of sand, clay and some natural products. Okay, then they are molded in a clean and they are put in the fire. All of you know how we are making a tile, a roof tile. Similar to that, this porcelain material will be heated in a clay to a temperature of 850 degrees centigrade to get a very good uh, floor, I mean, to, uh, floor, uh, flooring tiles. Okay, so there are two things, one is glazed and another is uh, unglazed. Glazed will be very polished, it will be very good. Unglazed will not be very polished, it will be rough surface. So homeowners prefer glazed sides as it is shining to the floor. But in the bathroom cellar, we go in for unglazed sides. Ceramic tiles can be used for floors and also for the walls. Also, manufacturers make tiles according to their use such as kitchen tiles, bathroom tiles and wall tiles. Their texture varies according to their use. So you can see this is one of the ceramic tiles. Okay, how rich the home looks. Okay, so without the flooring, you are home cannot be so much of aesthetic view that you can see. These are all some ceramic tiles that you can see. This uh, size and all okay, it will be based on that. Maybe, maybe mostly it is uh, 2 feet by 2 feet is the size. We, the mostly they are going for selecting because the bigger tiles may break so easily. Right? Either 1 feet by 1 feet or 2 feet by 2 feet. So the next one is the porcelain tile to, uh, This is also a type of ceramic tile, but it will be giving a very glazed bit. So actually, variant aspect of ceramic tiles, the clay used to make the tile generally more denser than the ceramic tiles. The porcelain material, porcelain tiles have a denser clay compared to the ceramic tiles. The water absorption rate of porcelain tiles is less than 0.5 percentage than the ceramic tiles. You can see how glossy it looks when we go in for it. Porcelain tiles. These are all the porcelain tiles they have given. The next one we go for vinyl flooring. Vinyl flooring comes in large continuous flexible sheets. Right? It is a sheet structure. It is also the colors can be changed. Mostly but the vinyl flooring will be of this color. Right? 
Unlike vinyl flooring color which comes in stiff type, vinyl plants which comes in interlocking strips. So these are all vinyl plants. So it, here it comes in the interlocking strips. So it can be, uh, I mean additionally added with one another where which the joint can be made more uh, elegant, right? Here you can see vinyl things with the interlocking things. But here you can see so much number of things will make the room glossy, right? It will be so much. So this is one type, you can see here this is another type of vinyl flooring, this is another type of vinyl flooring. Here on it will be a sheet that is laid all throughout the length, throughout the length we can wear. The vinyl flooring is made up of synthetic polymers. Vinyl sheet flooring comes in large rolled bundles. It will be in bundles rolled that we will be under that we will have the adhesives and we will pair the vinyl flooring in that, right? So it is excellent for bathrooms and basements. Bathrooms you can easily change, the water will not stagnate there because it is made up of only one uh, sheets and water does not get into beneath of the vinyl flows. That is one of the vinyl flows does not allow the water to move downwards. Requires low maintenance. Vinyl tiles are a good option for the homeowners who have very tight budget. Okay, so it is very cheap. It is economical. We can go in for a vinyl flooring compared to the uh, other type of uh, floorings. And vinyl tile floor is often installed in commercial settings where high traffic is constant or a very clean and static free environment is designed. There is two things. High traffic means traffic of people is there now. Then we can go for vinyl tiling. So it can be easily can be replaced and where a static free environment that is environment is clean means there we go for a vinyl flooring. Here you can see these are some of the vinyl flooring. The next one it is a granite flooring. All of you know what is a granite. Granite is a material, it is a type of igneous materials that we are using which is durable and glossy. One of the oldest stone which is being used for a strong flooring materials. You can even use see this material mostly in the different uh, even what to tell that palaces and other things. We go for a granite flooring. It will be a magnificent and grandia that is it gives a very good look. And also very, uh, what to tell, uh, luxurious look, grandier to home and office. You can install granite in office, home, coach, parking, swimming pool with the different types of finishing color kit. Okay, we can use it in all the places, right? Home, swimming pool, parking, everywhere. Mostly 60 by 30 by 2 by 3 or 60 by 60 by 2 by 3 or centimeter are used to make granite flooring. Important that the granite should have less variation in pattern to make it more beautiful. Okay, these are all different types of granites that are available. You can see how much types of granites are available. You can't go for these three to uh, be similar like that. If you want it, it won't be looking nice. You have to go for it almost the same time. You can see here, these are all granites, flooring, right? There are different types of granites. One is cashmere white, platinum white, absolute black, black glassy, crystal yellow, tan brown, rosy pink, Rajasthan black, steel grey, viscan white, Rajasthan leather, madurai gold like that, so other types are also there. We will see one by one. Cashmere white granite are very 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 white in colour. It is highly durable and glossy. It looks a very uh, glossy means it is shiny and uniform material and an ideal choice for flooring. You can buy the cashmere uh, in this uh, uh, 60 by 30, 24 inch by 24 inch or 12 inch by 12 inch according to your floor requirements and 2 cm to 3 cm thickness will be available. The next one it is a platinum white granite. So the platinum you can see even if you have used platinum now, so it will be similar to the silver color, right? It is a very bright material perfect for budget flooring. The biggest advantage of using platinum white granite is the price. Because compared to the cashmere white, platinum white granite is less uh, and also having a very high durability. It is uh, when it is polished, flamed and it can bring a very good finishing. And it is also used in this, uh, it is in centimeter, it is in inches. Okay, furthermore you can use this granite for the kitchen tops with. Then absolute black granite is a flooring material because it is highly popular material because it bring, comes in the tiles size. You can easily fix it 
even you can pay lot of money to buy tiles from absolute black granite it is very economical it has an interlay even now it is coming in an interlocking facilities where it can be used it is easily affordable and the next one black uh, black galaxy granite so black galaxy granite is uh, flooring is one of the best solution available likewise the absolute black black galaxy tiles it is also uh, I mean available in the tiles format and it is very affordable and the tiles can be used for making kitchen counterparts, kitchen uh, shelf, kitchen uh, for keeping the sinks and also the stoves, everything we can use this black granite. Crystal yellow granite is very, uh, I mean uh, colorful, it is yellow in color, right? We can use it for the bright color for the indoor flooring which will give you very good results as if we can go in for a uh, if a crystal yellow it will uh, show as if it is a scattered crystals all over it and it is a uh, durable affordable and uh, weather friendly granite used in indoor and also it is used in the outdoor mostly in the indoor tan brown granite is a dark color granite it is brown in color and it is uh, used like the of a black galaxy and absolute black like the of a tiles okay so the tiles can be combined with the moon white granite, another form of granite and it can be used for the mix matching. Rosy pink granite is an inexpensive beautiful pink granite and it is high durable. This granite is mainly available in India. It is having zero maintenance granite. Does not require any type of sealings, right? it, uh, but it takes very high polishing. Mosaics like the top comes under this and it is having a tiles. And it is a very good thing. Rajasthan black granite is a very famous and also very, uh, what to tell, it is a costly one. It is hard and durable and it is affordable granite from Rajasthan. But it is very uh, costly compared to the other type of granite. Steel grey. Steel means white color, stainless steel grey like that of one. And this granite is very hard, durable and available in different types of finishing. We have to go for a finishing. Steel grey is one of the most reliable and popular floor choices and Viscon white is affordable premium granite choice for flooring. This is a granite with medium of high variations but the light color of Viscon white granite is adjusted on the floors. So these are the other types. Premium Rajasthan black granite I told you know it is 80 rupees 80 per square feet. This will be this color and black galaxy granite will be this color. It is 190 square feet. But if you go for a pearl granite, that is it is a uh, uh, platinum granite, it is 450 square feet, you can see here. It is a black granite, leather finish means we go in for 150. Telephone black granite is like this. These are some of the names that is given for the, uh, uh, this uh, trade names. Okay, black green granite, mostly they go in for this type of uh, granite for the kitchen sinks and the kitchen floor. That is a uh, tops and this is pearl white granite. This is mostly very less weight and very less thickness. It has to be handled very properly. And white galaxy granite and Madurai gold granite are it is called as the golden granite. So we have chosen the above granite based on durability, beauty, waterproofing, availability and affordability. These are the things that we have to consider while we are going in for selecting a granite. Granite is used for flooring for residences and also offices and also for large commercial purpose. The next one it is a marble flooring. Marble is a very popular flooring option given in the house in the sophisticated look. Okay, so whenever we are thinking of marble flooring we think of uh, Taj Mahal, right? So it is made up of metamorphic rock that forms when a sedimentary stone such as limestone is transformed under the heat and pressure all of this you know how I marble is a natural stone which is processed and it is used it is a type of metamorphic rock right you can see there are different types of marble flooring which will give you a very elegant look to that thing it is doesn't need so much of polishing it is a uh, natural stone the next one it is a stone flooring stone flooring is a very uh, what to tell very rich type of flooring so it is a floor covering caved or carved out from natural solid rock. Stone is a rock that has been quarried and cut. 
So either we can go in for a unpolished stones like this of different shapes and make a very decorative flooring, or we can go in for a ashlar flooring which have a very properly dressed stones. These blocks of rocks are cut into slabs which are sent to a processing plant and recut and shaped and be used as the flooring. You can see here. It can need not be of a square type, it can be of a rectangular type or it can be of a irregular uh, shapes also. So whichever one we want, we can go in for the stone. The next one it is a concrete flooring. Most of the old houses we go in for a concrete flooring. So most easily done with the already paved floor above which we will go in for a finishing with the help of the cement mark that is uh, paste. Cement with water, they will go in for, they will give a very good smooth finish, right? So this is a concrete which is only poured upon a surface, then it rises to form a solid flooring. So sometimes color is mixed to create design. So this is, will be considered it as the oxide flooring. So the red oxide flooring or other oxide floorings. You can see, it is very durable. It can be even polished to get a very good surface of concrete. Terrazzo is a composite material poured in place and precast which is used for flooring and ball treatment consists of two layers. The under layer is made up of cement concrete and the top layer consists of marble chips, quartz and granites. So this is a material that is precasted somewhere and brought into the sites as a terrazzo flooring. So the terrazzo flooring mostly it will have a bottom concrete layer above which we go for a marble chips, quartz and granite. The layer is dried, cured and then polishing is done. It can be used both for indoors and outdoors. It is very good durable material. Okay, for weathering conditions. So you can see this is a terrace of flooring. You can see this type of flooring. We call it as a very good, now very attractive way. We have different uh, types now. This is all comes under the terrace of flooring. You can see here, it, marble floor, this uh, mosaic flooring comes under one type of terrace of flooring. So the next one it is a laminated flooring, laminated I told you it is a multi-purpose synthetic product that is laminated layer by layer, layer by layer and then it is uh, I mean given the form, right form. So okay, fused together with a lamination process, the laminated flooring can be installed in living rooms where there is less moisture. Only at disadvantage is that it will absorb the moisture and it will float out, right. So laminated flooring installed first and easy but the uh, laying is very easy you can see uh, so many types of laminated floorings are there so many colors are also there linoleum flooring what is linoleum linoleum flooring is coming from the linseed oil where you have used this linseed oil for example if you are using a new cricket bag then use this linseed oil to make the cricket bag suitable for our batting right so similar to that so it is also used as a covering material, it is a similar linseed oil is placed and it is a similar some type of wooden material. Okay, floor, floor covering made up of materials such as solidified linseed oil, pine rosin, then ground cork dust, wood to floor and calcium carbonate, right. So these are all things made up of to form the linoleum. Flooring, linoleum flooring is costlier compared to the vinyl flooring, but the look is rich look, the durability, everything is much more. Right? And also in the hilly areas, in the areas where the moisture, that is the where the temperature is very less, you can go in for the linoleum flooring or vinyl flooring, which can bring down the temperature inside. Okay? So pigments are often added to the materials to create the desired colors and finish. We can go for any types of pigments to go in for a desired color finish. The finest linoleum flows known as the inlaid are extremely durable. Very durable material we can make. So these are all different types of linoleum. You can see the different types of maybe for the children's bedroom, children's rooms we can go in for this type of things. The next one is the mix, mix and match type. Nowadays everyone we don't want to go in for a uniform color. Even with the dresses also we go for multicolored, multicolored pants and shirts, multicolored uh, churidas or multicolored sarees with the different types of blouses like that. Every day we go in for mix, mix and match. So nowadays not single flooring is nowadays we are preferring either go for vinyl flooring or laminated flooring with the different types of types 
or uh, concrete flooring and another types of flooring they are using. So you can see here this is a vinyl flooring, this is a laminated flooring. So both the things it is combined together that we are going in for a whistle match flooring. Here you can see uh, how much colors we can go in for very uh, attractive colors of flooring we can go in for this mix and match flooring. Okay. So the next one oxide floorings. Nowadays we are going for this oxide flooring, cement flooring. Mostly in the olden part of the houses in Kerala, Tamil Nadu, everywhere they go in for this type of floorings. Okay. So after the cement uh, uh, concrete floor layer is used, they go for oxidation red color. Mostly the red oxide. We call it as the red oxide is used. Okay. So the cement, this one is mixed with the cement paste and it is layered in the and uh, as a layer in the top portion which is very 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 smooth right so actually this is a very eco friendly material budget friendly flooring for example if i am going to see that the marble flooring granite flooring they say that so many uh, members will get a leg pain in the later stages they have health issues everything because we are without the flooring we can't walk inside the home so mostly when we are awake, mostly we have in touch with the building flooring materials. The flooring materials what we are going to put should be of very good. It should be healthy conditions. So this type of oxide flooring will give you a very good uh, life. And also it will not harm your legs. It will give a very good uh, uh, that is oxygen uh, distribution everything. It will be very good. Right. Okay, we can, we can, this is a red oxide, you can see how much it is very good, right, it is in the old, very old stuff. Here also it is a partially red oxide or yellow oxide, like that we can go for different color, whatever color that we are going to put, I can go in for this, matching I can go in for this oxide flooring. For example, I will tell you about the another type of flooring which they were using in the olden days, right. So olden days they go, don't go in for this type of uh, marble flooring, mosaic flooring and other things. I don't know how many of you know about the Bhatmanathapuram palace in Kerala. In the border of Kerala and Tamil Nadu, there is a uh, palace, we call it as a Bhatmanathapuram palace. And so some uh, fillings also it will come, right? So that the area will be very, 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 very hot, right? So it will be 40, 42 uh, degree temperature. But when you step inside that Bhatmanathapuram palace floor, the chillness, we can't even imagine how chill it is, right? But it is how it is made up of means they have some dead materials that is made up of egg shells, coconut shells, then uh, some coconut coirs, then cement lime, then they use some adhesives. Adhesives also, this egg, also egg white only they have used as an adhesive. And, uh, and they have used other materials, I can't remember all the materials. But they have used all these materials which are naturally available. They have mixed it and they have made a payment. Till now it is almost in 14th, uh, 12th or 14th century it was built. Till now the flooring is not having any single crack. Almost daily uh, some thousands of people visit the Bhatmanapuram uh, palace. But even it is not having any cracks. When I am going to step into it, it gives a very chill feel. Right? So okay. So I am going to once again tell about the flooring. Flooring is the bottom most part and whatever the flooring it is there, I have to uh, step into the home or any room only with the help of the flooring. So it should be having a very good wear and tear and it should having a very smooth surface so that my leg will not get uh, buried and will not be damaged, right? I will be feeling comfortable, okay? So the one is tile flooring, tile flooring all of you know different types of tiles are there, ceramic tiles or porcelain tiles. Where the clay content will be very dense in porcelain tiles compared to the ceramic tiles. They are heated to very high temperature using clay and they are using as a tiles. Tiles may be of 1 feet by 1 feet or 2 feet by 2 feet and it can be of any type or any number of uh, uh, I mean colors can be available and also it uh, is available from 25 rupees per square feet to 1250 per square feet okay then vinyl flooring vinyl flooring is type of a vinyl uh, materials that is panel box or it is a uh, rubber type of materials which is rolled which can be used with the help of adhesives and above which we go for a flooring one 
Then granite. All of you know granite. Granite we are using not only for the flooring materials, also for the kitchen tops, right? So here the, the granite is used. Different types of granite are used, and also the marbles. All of you know when we think of the marbles, we think of Taj Mahal. That much uh, marbles are the natural metamorphic rock used for the flooring purpose, and we are using directly polished marbles without any thing. This matching is nothing but the matching two colors or two materials to make a flooring. Laminating similar to the lamination, layer by layer the floors are laminated to make the laminated. And linoleum is made up of linseed oil along with some other materials, so that it gives a very good hard and also very good durable floor layer. And in the concrete layer with the smooth finish using cement paste will be used. When this marbles with the cement paste, if we are using a red oxide or a yellow oxide, we going for the oxide flooring. Terrazzo is a material that is used for tiles, right? Similar to the tough tiles with the clay main content. We are using the next last one we saw is the stone uh, uh, flooring, right? So the stone flooring or ordinary stone flooring or the very dressed stone flooring is used, which is also very costly but it is very durable. Next class we will see about the roofs. Thank you.